Hello, I'm Jason. Welcome to the Linear Algebra Tutor. Here we're going to study something called n-tuples and also matrix arithmetic. Uh, mostly matrix addition is what we're going to talk about. So I want to introduce the topic of an n-tuple early on because uh, it's a very simple concept, but usually students will read about it and they're like, what does this mean? It's a big fancy word. I don't understand. You know, just like with any class you take, whether it's statistics or calculus or linear algebra, the definitions um, of very simple things can sometimes get in the way. So let's tackle this one early on. Let's talk about uh, an n-tuple. Before we get uh, to that though, let's recall from your algebra or for your geometry, from your geometry. Um, you know, you've worked a lot with x-y pairs. You know, we plot them on, a, on coordinate axes, x comma y, right? So for instance, um, you can have an ordered pair called one comma three, right? And this is two numbers. So the ordered pair 1, 3, we know that it's implied that it means x is equal to 1, y is equal to 3. The comma serves to separate those two numbers so that we know that they're separate. So it's not 13, it's 1 and it's 3. The 1 that goes with x, the 3 goes with y. I know this is pretty basic stuff, but I'm, I'm leading to something. Now in three-dimensional space, you have x, y, and z, right? So I can have a point that would be 2, comma, 4, comma, negative 3. So we know because of the commas that the number 2 goes with x, the number 4 goes with y, and the number negative 3 goes with z. And so if I have a three-dimensional system, I can go x, y, z, and I can find that point in three-dimensional space. And because it's three-dimensional space, we know this is three numbers. All right? Three numbers. Now, where am I going with this? A set of n numbers. See here I've already given you two examples, right? Here's two numbers and here's three numbers. I'm going to generalize and say we have n numbers. However many numbers we have separated by comma, right, uh, is called an, you guessed it, n-tuple. Right? n-tuple. The word tuple, just to put, put your next question to rest, means ordered list. Ordered list. So now it makes total sense. It's very, very simple for you to understand, even though that at first this term in tuple seems very complicated. It just means ordered list of numbers. The reason there's an n in front is because frequently in linear algebra we're going to be talking about, sometimes we'll have pairs of two numbers. So here in this case, this is an n tuple, but 2 is equal to n, so it's almost like a 2 tuple, right? Uh, sometimes we'll have three numbers strung together when we're dealing in three-dimensional